Tonight Show, The Monsters. It stars Eddie Izzard, Portia de Rossi, and Jerry O'Connell. Now we just turned on to a very famous street. This is Wisteria Lane from ABC's Desperate Housewives. Oh yeah. I'm going to point things out. Take some pictures here. On your left, this uh, tan house. It was gold. That's the home of Gabrielle Solis, played by Eva Langoria. Right next door, to your left there, that lilac house is the home of Bob and Lee. And then next door to them on your left, this is the home of Susan Dolfino, played by Terry Hatcher. And over to your right, that brick and blue house is the home of Bree Vandekamp, played by Marsha Cross. And then back over to your left, this greenhouse is the home of Lynette Scavo, played by Felicity Huffman. Now you know what? That's where the homes ended in the first season. But with its huge success, they built the rest of this block, including this little park here coming up on your left and the pink house coming up on the right at the end of the block. And that is the home of Vanessa Williams. She plays Renee Perry on the show. And that house is a great example of what is known as a practical set. Now what does that mean? Well, they can shoot on the inside as well as the outside. It's a fully functional house, minus the plumbing. And I'll tell you this, folks, the rest of the homes on this block are just facades. There's nothing on the inside at all. Now you see how beautiful it looks in person. I want to remind you how good it looks on your TV screens. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good neighbor. And that bunny there on your right in that driveway, in Susan's drive, that's a real bunny. There's lots of, lots of rabbits out here. And let me point out uh, Bob and Lee's house, the lilac house. That is the original 1313 Mockingbird Lane from the original TV series, The Monsters. And then you're going to get a really good view of the new 1313 Mockingbird Lane on your right. It's a great picture spot right here. Or video. Or both. These days you can do so much stuff. Now, Wisteria Lane is a great example of a beautiful American suburban street.